Hello everybody, welcome to iExambi. Embrace the iExambi learning experience. We have been discussing previous year questions from various apps over the past three years. In this video, we are going to discuss all the previous year questions that have come from SEBI Act from 2020, 2022 and 2023. In 2023, the pattern of the exam changed and this Securities and Exchange Board of India Act, this is now present only in phase two. Starting with the first question, which of the following is not a function of SEBI? You can pause the screen, you can read the options. To protect the interest of Indian investors in securities market, to promote the development and hassle-free functioning of securities market, to monitor company takeovers and acquisition of shares, to regulate the tasks entrusted on depositors, credit trading agencies, custodians, foreign portfolio investors, other participants, and to investigate about the affairs of the company. The correct answer here is E. Investigation into the affairs of the company is not a function of SEBI. This function, this part rests with the National Company Law Tribunal. Question number two. What are the factors that needs to be taken into account while adjudging the quantum of penalty? Amount of disproportionate gain or unfair advantage, whether quantifiable, made as a result of default. Amount of loss caused to an investor or group of investors as a result of default. Both A and B, mitigating and aggravating factors, all A, B. Correct answer here is 3, both A and B. It's C. This is as per section number 15J of the SEBI Act. Both options A and B are expressly mentioned as factors of adjudging the quantum of penalty. Question number 3. Who amongst the following cannot buy, sell, trade in securities without certificate of registration? The correct answer is E, all of the above. All of the above intermediaries require certificate of registration. This is as per section number 12, registration of stockbroker, subbroker, share transfer agent, etc. Question number 4. When can central government remove board members of SEBI under section 6 of the Act? So in all of these circumstances, can a board member be removed? The correct answer here is E, A, B, C. If he is an alternate director, then the board member cannot be removed. This is as per section number 6 of the SEBI Act, where grounds of removal of board members is mentioned. Question number 5. Salary of presiding officer of SAT shall be such salary as admissible to a serving judge of Supreme Court. It shall be like the Prime Minister of India, equivalent to members of Lok Sabha, equivalent to members of Rajya Sabha, or determined by voting in the House of Parliament every five years. Correct answer is A. Such salary as is admissible to a serving judge of Supreme Court or Chief Justice of High Court. This is determined by rules made by the central government. This is mentioned in Securities Appellate Tribunal, Salaries and Allowances and Other Conditions of Services of Presiding Officer Rules. Question number 6. When can the central government remove members from SEBI if he is or at any time has been adjudicated as insolvent, if he is of unsound mind and stands so declared by competent court, has been convicted of an offence which in the opinion of central government involves moral turpitude. Correct answer here is E. All of the above. In all the above cases, central government can remove members of SEBI as per section 6 of the Securities and Exchange Board of India Act. Next question. So here the numbering is wrong. This is question number 7. Penalty for insider trading is 10 lakhs to 25 crore, 6 lakh to 25 crore, 3 times the profit made. The correct answer here is D, A or C. This is as per section number 15 G of the SEBI Act which imposes a penalty of a sum ranging between 10 lakhs to 25 crore rupees or a penalty of a sum which is 3 times the amount of profit made whichever is higher. Question number 9. When was SEBI constituted? SEBI was constituted in 1988. In April 1988, the correct answer is A. Question number 10. Any person aggrieved by any decision or order of securities appellate tribunal may file an appeal to the Supreme Court within, the correct answer is C, within 60 days. Now this appeal to the Supreme Court from the order of securities appellate tribunal within 60 days may be on any question of law arising out of such order. Question number 11. The qualifications of a person appointed as the presiding officer of securities appellate tribunal are He should be a sitting judge of Supreme Court, should be a retired judge of Supreme Court, should be a retired chief justice of high court, should be a sitting judge of high court within seven or more years of service, either of the above. Correct answer here is E, either of the above. He can have any of the following qualifications. This is section number 15M of the SEBI Act. Question 12. Civil court not to have jurisdiction means now here you can pause the video, read the options, they are very closely related. The correct answer here is D. No civil court shall have jurisdiction to entertain any suit or proceeding in respect of any matter which an adjudicating officer appointed under this act or a securities appellate tribunal constituted under this act is empowered by or under this act to determine and no injunction shall be granted by any court or other authority in respect of any action taken 
or to be taken in pursuance of any power conferred by or under this Act. This is as per Section Number 15 Y of the SEBI Act. Question Number 13. Who shall appoint employees of Securities Appellate Tribunal? Correct answer is B. Central Government appoint employees of SAT. This is as per Section 15 S of SEBI Act. Question 14. SEBI Chairman is appointed by. Correct answer is B. The President on advice of Central Government. This is as per Section Number 4 of SEBI Act. So, SEBI Chairman is appointed by the President on the advice of Central Government. Question number 15. What are the qualifications of presiding officer of SAT? This question came multiple times. He shall be a judge of High Court for at least 7 years, shall be a judge of Supreme Court, Chief Justice of High Court, A or B or C. Correct answer is D. This is as per Section 15M, Qualification for Appointment as Presiding Officer, Judicial Member and Technical Member. Question number 16. As per the SEBI Act, the questions which come up before the meeting of the board shall be decided by majority votes of members present and voting. However, in the event of equality of votes, Dash shall have a casting vote. The correct answer here is E, B or C, either the chairman or the person presiding the meeting in the absence of chairman. This is section number 7, subsection 3 of SEBI Act. Question number 17. When can an appeal lie from SAT to Supreme Court? The correct answer here is on any question of law. You have already seen in an earlier question, appeal can lie from SAT to Supreme Court within 60 days on any question of law. Since in any of the answers, 60 days is not mentioned, correct answer here is D. This is as per section number 15Z of SEBI Act. Question number 18. Which of the following cannot be qualified to be a judicial member of SAT? To be a judicial member of SAT, one can be a High Court of Judge for at least 5 years. Therefore, High Court Judge who has been judged for 4 years is not qualified. Correct answer here is A. This is as per Section 15M of SEBI Act. Question 19. SEBI can delegate its powers to any member of board, any officer of board, any person subject to such conditions as may be specified in the order. Any member, any officer of board or any person cannot further delegate its powers. Correct answer here is E. Can delegate its parts to any member, any officer of the board or any person subject to such conditions as may be specified in the order. This is as per section number 19 of SEBI Act. Question number 20. All sums realized by way of penalties under SEBI Act shall be credited to. The correct answer here is A. Consolidated Fund of India. This is as per section 15 JE of SEBI Act. Question number 21. As per the SEBI Act, the Securities Appellate Tribunal shall consist of presiding officer and such number of judicial member and technical member as the DASH may determine. The correct answer here is C. As the central government may determine. This is as per section number 15 L of the SEBI Act, Composition of Securities Appellate Tribunal. Question number 22. As per the provisions of SEBI Act, all questions which come up before any meeting of the board shall be decided by a majority votes of the members present and voting. And in the event of inequality of votes, the correct answer here is chairman or in his absence, the person presiding shall have a casting or second vote. This is a repeat question. This question came multiple times. This is as per section number 7 of the SEBI Act. Question number 23. Question number 23. According to SEBI Act, the Securities Appellate Tribunal shall the correct answer here is E, not be bound by the procedures laid down by the Code of Civil Procedure, but shall be guided by the principles of natural justice. This is as per section number 15U of SEBI Act, Procedure and Parts of Securities Appellate Tribunal. Question number 24, under the SEBI Act, any pooling of funds under any scheme or arrangement which is not registered to the board or is not covered under section number 11AA3 involving a corpus amount of DASH shall be deemed to be a collective investment scheme. Correct answer here is 100 crore rupees or more. Answer is B. This is section number 11AA of SEBI Act, collective investment scheme. Question number 25. What is the qualification for appointment as presiding officer of Securities Appellate Tribunal? He is or has been a judge of Supreme Court or Chief Justice of High Court or a judge of High Court for at least 7 years. The correct answer here is E. This is as per section 15M of SEBI Act. So these were all the questions that have come from SEBI Act. You can see section 7 was asked multiple times. Then section 15M was asked many times. If you are preparing for SEBI legal exam, you have any form of doubts, you require any form of guidance or support or study material, you can check out our SEBI Grade A Legal Online course. In 2023, there were 25 vacancies and 12 students who got selected as SEBI Legal Officers were from IXAMB. Have taken IXAMB's course, SEBI Legal course or SEBI Legal Interview course. And IXAMB has been guiding students in their preparation for SEBI Legal Officer over the past 3 years. That's all in this video. We at iExam we help you prepare 50% faster with a crisp and concise content. Subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned. Thank you.